Stay the fuck away from our cargo ships or we'll blast you alien scumbags into stardust. Those words rang in Commander Roger Carter's mind as klaxons blared, and red alert lights pulsed through the command deck of the Earth Space Fleet headquarters. Just moments ago, a distress signal from the ESS Intrepid had come through. The antimatter fuel transport was under heavy fire from unknown alien attackers in a remote sector of space. Roger sprinted into the bustling command center, his boots thudding on the metal deck plating. He punched a command into the hollow display, and a glowing star map burst to life, showing the Intrepid's location. Three angry red dots swarmed around the friendly green marker of the besieged cargo vessel. Betazoids, Roger growled under his breath. Those aggressive gray-skinned aliens had clashed with human ships before over space lanes and resources. Looks like they were at it again, trying to seize the Intrepid's precious antimatter fuel cargo by force. Roger's jaw clenched. He couldn't let that happen. That antimatter was critical for fueling Earth's growing starship fleet. If it fell into Betazoid hands, it could shift the balance of power in this sector and leave human space lanes vulnerable. Plus, he refused to let those alien bastards attack innocent human ships with impunity. It was time to send a clear message. Deploy 7th Tactical Assault Wing to defend the Intrepid now, Roger barked. Three destroyers, full combat load. Get them through the nearest Alcubierre jump gate ASAP. As the assault wing scrambled to transit to the battle, Roger opened a hailing frequency to the lead Betazoid warship. The scowling gray face of High Commander Mizar appeared on screen, his black eyes cold and penetrating. Mizar, this is your one and only warning, Roger declared with steel in his voice. Break off your attack immediately or face the consequences. Unprovoked aggression against human ships will not be tolerated. Mizar let out a harsh bark of laughter. Foolish human, we will seize your antimatter fuel and prove Betazoid superiority over your pathetic species. This space lane now belongs to us. Roger's eyes narrowed. I don't think so, asshole. Our warships are inbound and will unleash hell if you don't withdraw. Last chance. Mizar cut the transmission with a sneer. On the hollow display, the Betazoid ships continued hammering the outgunned Intrepid with plasma fire. Seconds later, three friendlies winked into existence near the Intrepid. The seventh wing had arrived. Lances of searing light and shimmering torpedoes arced out from the human destroyers, slamming into the alien vessels in a fierce counterattack. Roger watched the space battle unfold on the display, his heart pounding. Those brave destroyer crews were humanity's last hope to save the Intrepid and secure the antimatter cargo. If they failed, Earth's power and security in the galaxy could crumble. This was a fight they couldn't afford to lose. The fate of humanity itself hung in the balance as human and Betazoid warships clashed in a remote corner of space, locked in desperate battle, all over a cargo ship and its vital fuel. But to Roger and the Earth space fleet, no human ship was insignificant, and no alien aggression would go unanswered. One way or another, the Betazoids would learn that painful lesson today. On the command deck of the ESS Excalibur, Captain Marcus Thorne gripped the chairs of his chair as another barrage of plasma fire rocked the destroyer. Sparks erupted from overloaded consoles, and the acrid stench of burning circuitry filled the smoke-hazed air. Reroute auxiliary power to forward shields, Thorn yelled over the chaos, and get me a targeting solution on that lead Betazoid ship. The tactical officer, her face streaked with sweat and grime, frantically worked her controls. Captain, the Betazoid's shields are holding. Our weapons are barely making a dent. Thorn cursed under his breath. The Betazoids were putting up one hell of a fight. Their advanced technology was taking a heavy toll on the seventh wing. Commander Carter is right, Thorne said grimly. We need to focus fire on Mizar's flagship, coordinate with the other destroyers, hammer that bastard with everything we've got. The Excalibur shuddered as her forward batteries unleashed a furious salvo of quantum torpedoes and plasma beams. The other human ships followed suit, concentrating their fire on the imposing Betazoid warship. Mizar's shields flared and flickered under the onslaught, but held fast. Suddenly, 
A blinding flash erupted from the enemy flagship. A massive antimatter blast slammed into the Excalibur, throwing Thorn from his chair. He crashed to the deck, pain lancing through his shoulder. Report, he coughed, hauling himself up on a sparking console. Captain, that antimatter cannon punched right through our armor, the ops officer reported, his voice shaking. Main engines are offline, weapons are down, we're dead in the water. Thorne's heart sank as he watched the Betazoid ships closing in, scenting blood. The other destroyers tried to cover the crippled Excalibur, but were quickly outflanked and overwhelmed. On the main view screen, Commander Carter's face appeared, etched with urgency. Captain Thorne, fall back to the asteroid field at coordinates Delta 5-9. Use the rocks for cover while we regroup. Thorne relayed the order, and the human ships limped towards the dense field of tumbling asteroids. The Excalibur shook violently as the Betazoids harried her retreat, pummeling her battered hull with relentless fire. As the destroyers took shelter amidst the swirling space rocks, Thorne saw the intrepid edge into the asteroid field, venting wispy trails of antimatter from her exhaust ports. What was Roger up to? Moments later, Roger's face appeared on the interface again, a fierce grin on his face. Mazar, this is your last warning, he declared. We've rigged this asteroid field with antimatter charges. Break off your attack now or be blown to hell. Thorne held his breath, watching the Betazoid ships hesitate. Could Roger's bluff actually work? Seizing the moment, Roger barked new orders. All ships, advance in pincer formation. Flank the Betazoids and hit them with everything you've got. Intrepid, vent your antimatter stores now. The human destroyers surged from the asteroids, weapons blazing as they charged the enemy fleet. The Intrepid released a massive burst of antimatter, the volatile substance igniting in a blinding explosion in the heart of the Betazoid formation. Alarms blared on the Excalibur's bridge as the antimatter blast wave buffeted the ship. On the screen, Thorne saw Betazoid ships reeling, some careening into asteroids as they tried to evade the Inferno. Mizar's flagship, its shields finally dropping, took a vicious pummeling from the human barrage. Thorne felt a surge of hope as the Betazoids fell into disarray. Maybe they could still snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. But even as the tide turned, the Betazoids began to regroup, fury etched on their gray faces. Mizar's ship, heavily damaged but still fighting, led the counterattack as the aliens fought desperately to reclaim their lost prize. Thorne braced himself as the Excalibur shuddered under renewed fire. This fight was nowhere near the end. Roger's eyes gleamed with fierce satisfaction as he watched the Betazoid ships floundering on the tactical display. The antimatter blast had worked even better than he'd hoped. Now was the time to press their advantage. All destroyers, focus fire on Mazar's flagship, he barked into the comms. Hit that bastard with everything we've got. A swarm of quantum torpedoes streaked across space, slamming into the alien vessel's weakened defenses. The flagship's shields flickered and died under the onslaught. On the bridge of his ship, High Commander Mazar stumbled as explosions rocked the deck. Sparks showered from ruptured conduits and acrid smoke filled the air. Warning klaxons blared as system after system went dark. Shields are down, a panicked officer shouted. Hull breaches on decks three through seven. Mizar snarled, his black eyes flashing with impotent rage. All around him, crew members abandoned their posts and fled. The human ships closed in, energy beams lancing out to carve glowing furrows across the Betazoid flagship's hull. Secondary explosions bloomed along its length as the beams found vital systems and ammunition stores. Mizar slammed a fist on his command console. They were outmatched, outmaneuvered. There was only one option left. All ships, full retreat, he roared. Maximum sublight speed, get us out of here. The battered Betazoid vessels limped away, leaving the human cargo ship behind. Roger allowed himself a grim smile of victory before issuing new orders. Pursuit course, he commanded the destroyer captains. Don't let up on them yet. I want to make damn sure they know this sector is off limits. The human warships gave chase peppering the fleeing aliens with weapons fire. After a few minutes, Roger was satisfied they'd made their point. All right, that's enough, he said. Break off pursuit and regroup. 
we need to render aid to the Intrepid. As the destroyers turned back, Roger watched the cargo hauler on his display. The Intrepid was venting its remaining antimatter fuel in a sparkling stream, safely away from the ships. Intrepid, this is Commander Carter, he hailed. Prepare for emergency evacuation. We're coming alongside to get your crew out. Back at Earth Space Fleet Headquarters, Roger strode into the high-security briefing room. The top brass of the human military were already assembled, grim-faced and waiting. Gentlemen, Roger began without preamble, the situation is worse than we thought. He called up the tactical data from the battle, highlighting the devastating effects of the Betazoid antimatter weapon. This wasn't just a raid, he explained. The Betazoids are after our antimatter technology. If they get their hands on it, they could dominate this entire sector. Murmurs of concern rippled through the gathering. Admiral Zhao, a grizzled veteran, spoke up. What are you proposing, Commander? Roger's face hardened. We need to take the fight to them. A preemptive strike, before they can build up their antimatter arsenal. I'm talking full-scale war. The room erupted in heated discussion. But as the tactical reality sank in, a grim consensus emerged. One by one, the commanders voted. The decision was unanimous. Very well, Admiral Zhao declared. As of this moment, we are at war with the Betazoid Empire. Commander Carter, you'll spearhead our strategy. We need plans for an all-out assault on their homeworld and shipyards. Roger nodded, already formulating battle plans in his mind. I'll have a full strategic outline within 24 hours, sir. We'll hit them hard and fast. Those alien bastards won't know what hit them. As he left the briefing room, Roger felt the weight of humanity's future on his shoulders. But there was also a fierce excitement building in his chest. The die was cast. Humanity would not merely defend itself. It would seize its destiny among the stars. And any alien race that stood in their way would be ground to dust beneath the unstoppable might of the human war machine. Roger pored over the holographic displays, his brow furrowed in concentration as he studied the intel reports. The massive Betazoid shipyard orbiting Cybril loomed large in the projections, a sprawling complex churning out antimatter-armed warships at an alarming rate. We have to hit them hard and fast, he muttered, addressing the gathered fleet admirals. A two-pronged assault. Task Force Alpha will engage the shipyards directly while I lead a strike team to seize the antimatter refinery on Zebril's moon. The human armada dropped out of warp at the edge of the Zebril system, over a hundred warships forming up in attack formation. Roger's voice crackled over the comms. All ships, this is Commander Carter. Commence attack. Task Force Alpha surged forward, unleashing a devastating barrage on the Betazoid shipyards. Quantum torpedoes streaked across space, detonating in brilliant flashes against the orbital facilities. Lances of plasma fire carved molten furrows through hull plating and support struts. As the shipyards erupted in flames, Roger and his strike team rocketed towards Shebril's heavily fortified moon in stealth fighters. Flak bursts bloomed around them, filling space with deadly shrapnel. Energy lances stabbed out from surface emplacements, barely missing the nimble craft as they wove through the barrage. Evasive maneuvers, Roger barked as his fighters shuddered from a near miss. Push through their perimeter. The strike team's ships punched through the defensive screen, screeching towards the lunar surface. They touched down hard near the refinery compound, boots hitting the ground running as they charged towards the facility. Betazoid guards opened fire. Plasma bolts sizzling through the air. Roger dove behind a storage tank, returning fire with his particle rifle. Move up! We need to secure that reactor! The humans fought their way inside, engaging in vicious close-quarters combat through twisting corridors. Roger led the charge into the main reactor chamber, stunning the Betazoid technicians before they could trigger a meltdown. Reactor secured, he reported, tapping his comms. All ships cease fire. Transmitting ultimatum to the Imperial Palace now. Roger's ultimatum crackled across every Betazoid communication channel. Surrender unconditionally or watch their homeworld torn apart by an antimatter explosion. The Betazoid rulers, faced with utter destruction, had no choice but to capitulate. 
High Commander Mazar, his gray face lined with fresh scars, shuffled forward surrounded by human troops. With trembling hands, he signed the formal surrender documents. The antimatter is ours, Roger declared, watching as human cargo ships began siphoning off the precious fuel. Load it up and prepare for departure. The Betazoid Empire's dreams of conquest end here. But humanities are just beginning. The stealth fighters carrying Roger's strike team screamed away from the Betazoid moon base, their engines straining at maximum thrust. Behind them, a blinding flash erupted as antimatter containment failed catastrophically. The moon disintegrated in a searing fireball, chunks of rock and metal hurtling through space. Roger's voice crackled over the comms. All fighters, evasive maneuvers, ride the shockwave! The pilots fought their controls as the blast wave slammed into them. Roger's fighter bucked violently, warning lights flashing across his console. He gritted his teeth, wrestling the stick to keep the craft stable. Aboard the Leviathan, the bridge crew scrambled to protect the flagship. Divert all power to shields, shouted the tactical officer. A blinding glare filled the viewports as the antimatter explosion expanded. The massive warship shuddered, metal groaning under the strain. Sparks showered from overloading consoles. Emergency klaxons blared, their shrill wail cutting through the chaos. Damage report, barked the XO, gripping his chair as the deck pitched beneath him. Hull breaches on decks four through seven, reported an ensign, her voice tight with tension. Sealing emergency bulkheads now. As the devastation subsided, an eerie silence fell over the bridge. The tactical display showed a gaping void where the Betazoid moon had been, now filled with swirling debris and antimatter discharges. Sir, the censor officer said quietly, I'm reading... 5,000 life signs lost in the blast radius. Roger's face was ashen as he absorbed the staggering toll. All around him he saw the same mix of horror, grief, and smoldering anger reflected in the eyes of his crew. Taking a deep breath, he opened a channel to the entire fleet. Attention all ships, this is Commander Carter. He paused, choosing his words carefully. We've dealt the Betazoids a crippling blow, but at terrible cost. Five thousand of our brothers and sisters gave their lives today. Roger's voice hardened. Their sacrifice will not be in vain. We've shown the galaxy the price of defying humanity. Let any who would challenge us look upon the ruin of Zebril and tremble. He smacked his head on his chair, the sharp crack echoing through the calm. All ships, prepare for translation to subspace. We're going home. The battered human armada limped into formation. One by one, the ships winked out of normal space, leaving behind the scattered remnants of the once mighty Betazoid Empire. As the Leviathan made the jump, Roger stared at the streaking star field, his face set in grim lines. They had won, but victory had never tasted so bitter. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.